Facebook friends. I am excited about the things that I'm hearing from heaven and just wanted to share some encouraging words to you all about uh, trusting that you hear from heaven and the name of angels and assignments and just um, getting your eyes and ears open to the spirit realm because we are a spirit and we are live in a body and we have a soul. So just wanted to uh, share some things with you. I shared on my Facebook group, um, if I can remember the name of it, Angels, <laughs> Supernatural, Courts of Heaven, and other Christian, normal Christian things. I think that's the name of the group. Anyway, I shared some things on there the other day about angels and hearing from heaven and names and stuff. And one of the things I shared is that sometimes when you need direction or when you think you see an, an angel in the sky or think you see something, you can ask them. <laughs> I'm just laughing because there's a big smiley face angel right here with perfect round eyes. <laughs> If I didn't have my camera on, I'd have to stop and take a picture. It's about the most perfect brown eyes I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> it's so funny. It looks so perfect. Um, anyway, Strong's ask for Strong's Concordance numbers. And then if you don't have a Strong's Concordance number to, to, to look up, uh, just say it into your microphone on your phone. Strong, say Strong's Concordance number and then say the number. And the phone will, will pick it up and and you can figure out what that, you know, you can have that Strong's number and figure that out. It's really cool. I just had left this smiley face angel. I mean, it's it, it's such a, a perfect uh, smiley face. <laughs> and so big. Anyway, um, you have to begin to trust that you hear from heaven that when you ask something that the answer you get back is not your imagination, it's from heaven. We are taught that our imagination is bad and we're just imagining it, but the imagination is really the key or the connection to the spirit realm. And so as we are children, our imagination, we really perceive and see into the spirit realm. But as we're taught that it's not right, it's not good, it's, oh, it's just your imagination, stop imagining that. Then we lose that innocence, we lose that ability, and we begin to think that we're just making up things. And, and so we lose that connection. So as adults, we think that we're just fantasizing or making things up. We, we don't trust our imagination. And we need to learn to trust it. And one of the ways that God has showed me how to build that trust back up in my imagination is to begin with little things and, and then let him confirm it. Uh, like Kenneth Copeland said that he didn't believe to be healed of some sickness or disease or raise the dead first. First, he believed God for a pair of socks. And when he got the pair of socks, then he believed for something else. And it's kind of like that with um, engaging heaven, experiencing the supernatural and the spirit realm uh, through your imagination. You have to be consistent. You have to begin to trust it. You have to start small and grow bigger. And... Um, just take notes, write things down that you think or you receive. I know that before I was saved, when I was um, about 22 or 23, I was very prophetic. I would see things, I would see numbers, and I would, um, I would, I remember what happened was, in particular, it happened was, I would kept seeing these series of numbers same series i'd see them on driver's license i'd see them on i mean license plates i'd see them wherever i looked i'd see these same series of numbers and i it was like okay what's going on here well what it was is my my mom's phone number and my mom was actually getting ready to call me to tell me that she had been diagnosed with cancer and only had six months to live and that would happen often between me and my mom i would see her phone number or i would think of her and, and she would call me. And that happens with your friends. You think of somebody and they call you. Well, people who seem to be prophetic and they're not Christians yet are people who are called into the prophetic. A lot of the witches, uh, a lot of those kinds of people are people who were actually called by God to be prophets. And because they the church turned them off for one reason or another, or they didn't connect with the church, or they didn't connect with Christians, or they had a hard time with Christians, 
they got turned off and they went to the dark side, <laughs> you could say. Uh, they're still using the same abilities, except those abilities are being led by demons instead of the Holy Spirit and angels. So they're really called to be prophetic. The gift, that, that office, that place of standing is really from God. And the reason that they have it is because God gave it to them, but they're misusing it. They're using it for the wrong reasons and the wrong purposes. So oftentimes you'll see those kinds of people are very prophetic and understand and, and they they are once they get saved they are very intu intuitive and understanding of the spirit realm because they've already dealt with it they know it's real they've experienced it they've been there and now they have to learn to transfer and have an understanding into the spirit realm on the good side um, Father, protect that one for cyclist in Jesus' name. Drop to you. Give her a pet to spirit. Give her a your eyes and see. For labors in this path to give a gospel message in you in a way you can understand. In Jesus' name. Amen. Whenever I see a motorcyclist without a helmet, I always pray for him. And that's the prayer I usually use. Um, anyway, so that's one of the ways that you begin to understand. You, you just um, start to ask questions. And when you get answers, you write them down. You do research. You can ask God, uh, what's Strong's number? If you're going through a situation, God, give me a Strong's number. Whatever comes to mind, look up that Strong's number um, and, and find out what it means and, and kind of get a little bit of understanding that way. Um, whenever Now, whenever I see a host in heaven, I ask its name. And some of the names are so crazy. It's like, oh, my word, I had to make that up. And it's like so stupid. But when I look it up, the meaning is awesome. It is. It, it just confirms it. Like just now as I was before I... Um, talk to you guys I posted I took a picture of this big huge host and it just kind of looked kind of creepy and so I said it was just like standing out there in my face really big and so I said so what's your name and it said my name is masked raider and I said okay I said that's got to be my imagination masked raider and so I said okay I'm gonna look it up the first thing that came up was a movie I said well that's not that's not it it's, it's got to be something else. So I I kept looking it up, and and I asked him, you know, what is your job? And he says, he said his job was to be masked um, and hidden and observe among the enemy's camp what their assignments were. So he was masked. I guess he was he was looking like them, fitting into into their group of demons so that he could um, deceive them and so he could figure out see what their assignments were what who was given what assignments and so I thought that was really cool and just a few minutes before that when I came out of my driveway I saw this humongous beautiful detailed face I mean I had left I got out my camera and it, it was really strange this is the first time I experienced this the face was so beautiful and so detailed I saw it immediately but at the same time it was very obscure. It was very hidden. I could see it clearly, but at the same time, I couldn't. I never experienced that before. And so I said, okay, uh, what's your name? And he said, August. I said, oh, okay. I know I made that up because August is just around the corner, August, you know? And <laughs> I, I looked it up. And what August uh, means, uh, I have it in the Facebook group. I, it says... To, to inspire, to, um, uh oh, I forgot. I don't have no, um, I'm gonna have to go through my toll. I don't have no money on me. Hang on. I must get my money here or either get, go through the toll. Um, anyway, August meant something really cool. It meant inspire and encourager, uh, of, a supreme being of a supernatural being I'm glad the car in front of me has stopped so I can get my money here <laughs> okay sorry about that I have to pay an 80 cents toll let me count this 50 60 70 85 all right he's moving so I'm not holding up the line I have to pay an 85 cent toll twice a day to go skating okay so sometimes it doesn't even register it all right, now I'm ready to go. <laughs> okay, so August 
meant to inspire or motivate people, to inspire or motivate to admire a supreme being. I thought, wow, you know, he's there to inspire us to, to love on God. I thought, man, I, I couldn't even make up this stuff. It's so crazy. And so I want to encourage you, when you ask God a question, don't discount the first thing that pops into your mind. Don't say, oh, it's just my imagination. Oh, it's just you. You have nothing to lose if it is your imagination. And everything to gain, if you begin to trust your imagination, you begin to engage the supernatural. You begin to um, trust that you're hearing from God and being led in the Holy Spirit. Because you got to remember, the job of the Holy Spirit is to reveal all truths to you. Um, it's, he's your helper. So he's, he, he wants you to succeed. He wants you to have an understanding of who you are. And you are a spirit being who lives in a physical body and has a soul. And the spirit realm should be as natural to us as the physical realm. And, and so just being encouraged and, and motivated and inspired. If you see colors or smells well, twice, I've tasted in the spirit realm. And that's really cool. And I've smelled in the spirit realm quite a lot lately. Um, sometimes good, sometimes bad. I, every once in a while, I smell this old lady perfume, and I hate old lady perfume. I just hate it. It's so, you know, some of these old ladies, they wear this perfume, and it's so, so strong. And it doesn't even smell good. It just smells like old lady perfume. And I hate that smell. And every once in a while, I smell that. And to me, it, it almost hurts my head. It's such a powerful smell. And I'm not sure what that smell means or what it is yet. But I've smelled, I smelled other things in the, in the spirit realm. And, and it's really awesome when you smell, smell in the spirit realm and taste in the spirit realm. It, it's, it's different because it's, it's like you have an understanding that it's a spirit realm, but at the same time you taste it. I guess it's the best way to describe smelling and tasting in the spirit realm is when you smell fresh baked bread. You can, you can taste it even though you're not eating it and it's kind of like that in the spirit realm so begin to experiment begin to trust god begin to um, tr trust yourself because you are one spirit with god you have the mind of christ so begin to trust that the mind of christ in you that you are one spirit with um can direct you and that you can hear and you can implement what you hear so i just wanted to encourage you this morning to do that um and share this uh, video with your Facebook friends, uh, people that are interested in walking in the supernatural, people that are interested in the host of heaven and, and just hearing from heaven and experiencing it. Christianity is not about being good and doing good. Christianity, that's what religious made, religion made. It. Christianity is about having a supernatural relationship with God and having that supernatural relationship and walking uh, in our identity because we are the righteousness of God and because we choose to to not sin and we choose to live a righteous life we're righteous because God made it Jesus made us righteous but we are holy and blameless because Jesus made us holy and blameless but we have to choose to live a godly life because when we aren't living a godly life it opens the door to the enemy and God does not want the door open to the enemy and so we choose not to sin because living in the supernatural is so much fun and when you are sinning, it's, you can't you can't hear. Not because God doesn't want you to or stops you, but because you stop yourself. Oh, I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not this. I did that. You know, who am I? And so it's your own self-conscious that's stopping you. Sinning is just the devil's tool to keep us from God. And we don't have that nature anymore, so we don't have to sin. Anyway, so share this with your social media sites. Um, if you're an author, please share with your friends about what I do, I promote mostly family safe and Christian authors. I publish their books for them for $300. I will take your manuscript, format it, get your ISBN number, create a professional book cover, spine and back for Kindle and for create for print through Amazon on Creative Space. I'll also um, upload everything for you and do all the work for you. Uh, and just in, within 30 days for $300, you will have a published book in your hand. And um, I also promote books. I also enhance your um, your description so it looks like Amazon is promoting you with highlights, bulletin points, and so on. Uh, so it doesn't look like a regular 
description that everyone else has. It looks like Amazon's promoting your book. And I also get review reviewers for you who have reviewed similar books to yours. Um, I think it's $70, $75 for 70 reviewers that have given top reviewers that have reviewed books similar to yours and the template and all you have to do is fill in uh, the name of your book and send it to them. You probably want to send five or five or six or seven a day and get reviews on your book. So anyway, share that with your friends. Check out my new website. I updated Things Have Changed. Uh, it's robinbremer.net. Share it with your friends. Have a blessed day. And Father, in Jesus' name, open their eyes and their ears so they can see who you are and who they are in Christ. Have a blessed day.